I'm Crystal Faulkner with the CPA and business advisory firm of Cooney, Faulkner & Stevens. We're here today with Terry Garcia-Cruz. Terry is the chief executive officer and the general manager of the Metro System here in Greater Cincinnati. And Terry, even if you don't ride a bus to work or ride a bus anywhere, the Metro System is a tremendous economic driver for our community. Maybe you can share some of the details. Well, good morning, Crystal. Thank you for this opportunity. Metro is critical to the economic development of our community. We are the link to employment, uh, particularly if you don't use uh, transportation. Uh, you might be uh, needing that service from an individual who is using transportation. In talking to many community leaders, transportation definitely is a priority to get their workers to work. As a matter of fact, the majority of the destination points on Metro, 50% of the reason that people are using Metro is to get to work. 50% of the people use Metro to go to work. That's correct. So that is very critical. And Terry, I know that you are leading along with others, but you're leading a charge to discuss regional transportation, not just here in the city of Cincinnati or Hamilton County, but a regional conversation about transportation. Why is that important to our community? It's important because transportation has to be that bridge, that bridge to economic development, a job connection, as well as improving the quality of life. And it's exciting because I think here in Cincinnati we're at a pivotal moment. Transportation will be different. We're on a, a new forward direction. We're working with OKI, the Chamber, uh, Roxanne Qualls, and other elected officials in moving transportation forward in a positive direction. And you've got a few new initiatives on the horizon. Maybe you can quickly give those details. We do. We're in the process of developing a new transit plan. Um, and critical is basically looking at the input of the community and we are out there we're doing one-on-one -on -one interviews we want to make sure that we're designing a system that's responsive to the community and if you'd like to give us that input you can go on our website which is www.go-metro.com so people can go online and actually give their concepts and their ideas absolutely because we want to be a new metro Terry thank you so much for you being welcome. my guest and we're going to continue our conversation with Terry Garcia Cruz on WCPO.com. So in addition to the, the new initiative that you have that you're referring to, there's also the bus rapid transit program that you're, you're trying to roll out as well. Maybe you can talk about that. Absolutely. And that also is an interesting point because it's a different way to provide transportation to this community. It will be faster. It will be more convenient. We will have better passenger amenities at various stops. It's going to be a more upgraded service. Um, and we will look at major corridors. We're working with the Chamber, OKI, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Vice Mayor Qualls, and moving this initiative forward as well as the Transportation Department within the city. So is the idea that people would actually get in their cars and drive to a spot, get on board a, a bus, and then that bus would have access to get these people where they need to go faster? That's one aspect, and that's what you're referring to as a park and ride lot. Mm -hmm. And we will have park and ride lots, but we will also have strategic locations where individuals can board at a passenger amenity with real-time information so you know when that bus is arriving. And if you can grab that cup of coffee because you know in 10 minutes the bus will be there, you can have 10 minutes to grab that cup of coffee. And Terry, I know recently you and others at Metro recognized several of your employees mm -hmm. in terms of their appreciation for them. and and some of the work that they're doing to, again, make the metro system much more service-oriented. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can talk about that. Oh, absolutely. And that's an exciting part of what we do, and recognizing individuals who do an outstanding job. Transit is a service industry, and uh, basically the employees are the ones that are making metro. Um, and when someone does an outstanding job, it's really critical to recognize them for that effort. And, you know, m many people do use the metro. S some people have never used the metro. What would you say to someone who's never ridden the bus and would like to experience it, would like to see how it could really help them? Certainly with gas prices where they are today, I would think a lot more people are considering riding the bus. Right. Is, it, is it convenient for people? I mean, how do they know how to even get started on how to get the bus? It's, it's very easy. Um, all you have to do is go on our website. We have actual trip planning, so you can do your point A to point B destination trip planning. We also have um, customer service reps on our phone lines that can has, assist as well. And uh, with uh, real-time information, and we're embarking upon the mobile applications on your phones eventually, mm -hmm. we have Google Transit as well as a way to understand how to use our system. 
Uh, we have 17 million people who um, ride our system. Well, I was going to ask you, how many buses do you have? We have about 400 buses, and uh, we also provide not only service um, that you see along the major corridors with our buses, but also the paratransit side, which is basically transportation for the disabled. And when the subway gets built, is that something that's going to be underneath the metro system as well? The streetcar will be an area. That's that what I meant, the streetcar. The streetcar ultimately will be operated by, uh, by us as well. Okay. Well, that sounds great. Well, Terry, thank you so much for being my guest and for thank you. everything you're doing to get us where we need to go faster and more convenient. Yeah, thank I, you. I appreciate the partnership and the opportunities.